You know, Pastor Wim is not that type of person. I know him. He's a very serious man. It was only recently God started to touch me. He's a very serious man. He doesn't laugh easily. So that's not him. He's a serious man, always ready for an argument. <laughs> Feel the power on you now. Feel. Why does God do things like that? You know, on the day of Pentecost, when he poured out the power, Jesus said, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for power. Because when the Holy Spirit come upon you, you will receive power, and then you will be my witness. On that day, the people really thought they were drunk. They asked the guys, are these guys drunk? What's going on in there? Now, I don't blame anyone if they say we are drunk. It's okay. Because they did it in the book of Acts. I mean, no one is drunk people that does things like this, you know. You see them outside the bar laying there, but not with so much joy. That's why on that day they asked the people, go and read your Bible. On that day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came on people like tongues. And they've been, are these guys drunk? What's going on with them? And then Peter said, no, it's too early in the morning. The bottle stores are not open yet. <laughs> Cannot be. For what reason? Whatever God give us, we must enjoy it. I mean, he give you a plate of food. Not only to give you strength, but you must enjoy it. So when he give you the Holy Spirit, he wants you to enjoy it. Amen. What will you think of God? He give you a big plate of food, but it's no taste in it. You taste nothing. You just need to eat it to be strengthened. No, He give you enjoyment. So when He give you the Holy Spirit, He also give you enjoyment. Come here, Stephen. Come here, Stephen. Come. Jesus! I didn't touch him. Wat vry vir die Heere, Sonja? If you ask, I hear you, okay? God hear you far better than I can. Give him a hand. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus! <laughs> nyam, nyam. Come, nyam, nyam. Come. Jesus wants to give you nice. The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. You must taste. But fry for the era. Can we say yum yum? The Bible says, taste and see. Yum yum. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And His word is like honey. Do you love honey? I eat a lot of honey. I love honey. The prophets ate honey. Jesus grew up on honey and curds. John the Baptist ate honey and locusts. I love honey. So it's good. It's yum yum. 
And his word is like honey in our lips. And yum, yum. You want yum, yum? Almost a tennis. And you know, I can't know your profile picture and I see your sin. And I see you have yes with all. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, let's see me. But let's not young. To Kutulu, who's in my seat. Look at the Bachali, look at the Silly. No look good like a bucket, Lea Sasa. Look good, Labasi. Huh? What's it here for you? What the envelope is? Yeah. As you gave us the old people fun. Take both, come on. Come on, you want to be a quip? Take both. In Jesus' name, give God a hand. Hallelujah. If God offers you two things and He says, You want this one or that one? What are you going to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Why would you take one? You want to take both. Amen. Give Jesus' hand. Hallelujah. <laughs> Taste and see that the Lord is good. His word is like honey on my lips. I love honey. Open your mouth. <laughs> His word is like honey on my lips. Kutuluku <laughs> sabahai. Luchusili Machli, Ulukula Mala, Borosulebaya. Luchli Hai Musu Uru Sahi. You see, when I came in here, I was so angry at the devil. Now God give us joy, because the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen? Come, Peter. You are holy. Everyone, everything will be known by fruit. What is she saying? She's worshiping Jesus. She's saying, Jesus, you are holy. You will know everything by fruit. Anything that brings people close to Jesus is of God. Anything that bring, does not bring people close to Jesus is not of God. As easy as that. Come, friend. Everything is known by fruit. Recognized by fruit. Recognized by fruit. <laughs> 